For a very long time, WhatsApp has claimed that it is a safe messaging platform and that its chats and conversations are end-to-end -end encrypted, which means only you and the person you're communicating with can read or listen to what is sent and nobody in between, not even WhatsApp. Now, despite such promises, WhatsApp has come under the scanner several times now. An explosive recent report has claimed that WhatsApp is not as secure as it claims to be and its end-to-end -end encryption system is in fact fake. The report says that Facebook has hired content moderators to access the personal conversations of its 2 billion WhatsApp users, a claim that Facebook has denied once again. The report by ProPublica, which is a Pulitzer Prize-winning investigative newsroom, claims that Facebook has always compromised with the security and privacy of users. While WhatsApp says that not even the app itself can access the conversation, the ProPublica report states otherwise. The report claims that WhatsApp has appointed more than 1,000 content moderators or contractors to look at millions of pieces of users' content. These content moderators, the report says, use a special Facebook software to sneak into a person's private conversation, gaining access to the images and videos sent through WhatsApp. These contractors pass judgment on whatever flashes on their screen, claims of everything from fraud or spam to child porn and potential terrorist plotting, typically in less than a minute. The report says that WhatsApp only gains private access to conversations only when a user hits the report button on the app. Now, when a user reports a chat or a conversation, WhatsApp forwards five messages to its team, which includes the message that violates the guidelines of the app along with four other. Now, WhatsApp then bans or takes action against the account depending on the crime. So basically, WhatsApp only forwards five messages. The entire chat history is not passed on to the team because of its end-to-end -end encryption method or system. So if you report someone's message, Facebook can read the message, but this goes against its claims of being end-to-end -end encrypted. If that were true, no message would be accessible by the company. The report says that policing users while assuring them that their privacy is safe makes for an awkward mission at WhatsApp. ProPublica's study also found that the artificial intelligence program or AI program can misidentify content on several occasions. For example, images of kids in a bathtub can be misunderstood for being abusive and when these are flagged, moderators can read the last five messages in that thread or conversation. Now, what does Facebook have to say about these allegations? Is Facebook accepting the fact that it is deceiving users about personal privacy? No. Facebook has denied the claims made by ProPublica. The company said in a statement that WhatsApp provides a way for people to report spam or abuse, which includes sharing the most recent messages in a chat or conversation. This feature is important for preventing the worst abuse on the internet. Talking about India, the company also said in the statement that in accordance with the Indian government's IT rules 2021, Facebook also publishes monthly reports that contains details of how WhatsApp keeps users safe and prevents abuse on its platform on the basis of user reports. It also said that WhatsApp remains deeply committed to privacy and user safety.